Passenger door escape slide assembly installation. Do a check of the general condition of the slide pack assembly. Before you start the work, make sure that the safety lock pin is correctly installed in the regulator valve assembly. Make sure that the pressure gauge shows a sufficient pressure level. Check that the manual inflation handle is connected to the inflation cable. Before you install the girt bar, you have to disconnect the loop of the cover release cable. Make sure that the electrical connector is closed and installed in the correct position. Place the electrical wiring according to the side that the slide needs to be installed on. The electrical harness must come out of the side of the girt assembly in flight direction. To place the harness correctly, follow the instructions on the pack assembly. Now the pack assembly is ready to install the girt bar. Install a temporary tie on the small cord loop. Install the mooring line on the left side of the girt bar and place the girt bar between the short and the long girt extension flap. Make sure that the visual indicator faces inboard and forward. Pull the cord loops through the grommets in the short girt flap. Start at each edge of the girt assembly and pull the cord loops through each other to the small cord loop at the center. Place the handle wire loop over the small cord loop before you place the long cord loop over the center. Secure it with the parachute pin before you continue pulling the cord loops from the other end towards the center. Secure both long cord loops over the center with a parachute pin and remove the temporary tie. Safety the parachute pin by using a specific nylon thread. One clove hitch on the long side of the pin. Three half hitches on the short pin and followed by three half hitches on the wire end of the pin. Secured with a square knot.
attach the handle to the Velcro tape and put the release wire along the girt assembly. Make sure you keep the mooring line as short as possible and that you stow away the excessive length back into the girt extension. Fold the long girt flap over the girt bar and attach it to the short girt flap Velcro tape. Now the cover release cable needs to be reconnected to prepare the slide for the installation on the door. Before you start with the installation of the slide, make sure that the emergency exit light switch on the 25VU is set to off. Install the safety lock pin on the percussion mechanism of the door damper and emergency operation cylinder and set the percussion lever to the disarmed position. Check that the door is set to the disarmed position and the lock pin is engaged. Close the door and install the pack assembly on the door support hooks. Hold it at an angle and connect the electrical connector of the slide to the door. Install the bolts and the washers on the forward and aft end of the packboard. Tighten them to the required value with a torque wrench. Afterwards, check that there is no more play between the slide pack board and the door. Set the door to the armed configuration and open the door. Open the door with the control handle and hold the door to prevent the door from fully opening. Install the girt bar with both ends into the floor attach fittings until the spring poles click into position. Carefully lower and lock the door with the control handle. Make sure that the control shaft levers engage correctly in the holes of the girt bar. Make sure that the girt bar engages correctly in the telescopic forks when you set the door to the disarmed position. Do an operational test of the arming mechanism by arming the door and lifting it carefully. Check that the girt bar engages into the floor attach fittings. Prevent the door from moving to the fully open position. Lower and lock the door again. Set the emergency control handle to the disarmed position and check that the girt bar moves back into the telescopic fork. Safety the door in the disarmed position. Remove the safety pin from the pack assembly and stow it in the pocket on the slide assembly. Position the decorative cover with the upper end on the upper end of the slide pack board. Align the spring-loaded latches to match with the brackets on the slide. Close them. Push the lower edge of the decorative cover against the pack assembly until the spring clips engage. Finally, you have to set the door damper and emergency operation cylinder back into the armed mode. Extend the percussion lever and tighten the screw. Lock wire it, and when the lock wire is completely done, remove the safety pin from the percussion mechanism. Do the operational test of the emergency lights and the slide bottle monitoring through the SIDS. Both test results should show OK as the test result.